Okay, welcome back, guys. So let's carry on from where we left off. Okay, so I think the next thing we want to do is to, but yes, I made a few corrections to this. Many corrections to this on the displacements under the Wukong main edge shape under another where the displacement map attributes or the displacement attributes in regards to the mesh itself. So I just went and increased the height to 0 0.2 so we can get more of the detail coming out in here, like so. You can see more detail, but it's been softened out with the SSS, so that's fine. This is precisely what we want. So I'm going to leave this like this. We collapse this for now. Collapse this also. But I need to get. I need to get um. Rather, I need to. I just kind of add. Let's work on the eye rather. Let's work on the eye. So I'm going to bring out the inner eye, the minuscules also. Let's review that. So let's work on those. So on the outer eye and minuscules, I think I'll just give them the same material. Same material should work for both of them. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to add new material the AI standard surface. Just name this to outer eye. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm going to use a preset. Let me just put a eye in front. Is enter. I'm going to use the glass preset for this. Okay. And I'm going to one by one select the mesh itself. If you want to turn on or pick, same with the minuscules also. Could that be off or on? Not so sure anymore. Okay, it should be off. Let's see the default for this sense. Okay, it should be off. Oh yes, it was already off because of the material we used. So let me just turn it off. It should be off. Okay. And for the inner eye, let's give this a new AI material. Use AI inner eye. Do it with save. Now what I need to do here, I like to use the same skin preset also for this. See skin preset for this. Add more roughness to it. So I will increase the specular roughness for it. Okay. Then let's go to our hyper shade. Should be the hyper shade. So I'll go to inner eye graph network for this. And let's bring in eye textures. So the inner eye normal map on the I don't think I need roughness map for this anyways. So I'm just going to drop in the color and normal map in here. Drag this down. Select this be on raw alpha is luminance then let's drop in an ai node in here and normal map out color drag this to normal cam i'll take this down by the port i'll take this down to 0 0.4 i'm gonna start with 0 0.4 for now then this out color i'll put this to okay let me uh, uh okay let's use let's use a color correct node in here 
first color to input, then out color to subsurface color, I believe. Select this node. It's already applied the subsurface color. I'll put this to zero points. Uh, uh, let's try zero point one for now. Changes to random walk. Put this to zero point zero three. Okay. So let's see what we have. We just zoom into one eye for now. So minimize this. Do a quick save for the file and let's render this out. Let's see what we have. I would like to render. Let's stop this for now. Let's do something a bit close up. Probably render again. So you can see the right front is light showing up in the up on the eye. Front facing light showing up on the eye. Let's see if we can edit the lights for the front rec lights. We should be able to uh, I can turn it off from it being visible in the particular of this map, maybe. Okay, let's let's take, let's take it down. Let's take it down. It's not too obvious. Let's do this like so. I just turn the VDI. Okay, so I think we have a very good render in here. Everything seems to be working correctly as should. Though you see some of these pixelated jaggedness around this box, it shouldn't be such of an issue. So I'm not going to be doing loads up on this, but it's something I can use in stuff center. There's an absolute need for it, but I think now it's not really a big, a big deal. So let me stop this. And I'll take a snapshot of this. I'll remove this. Let's go back to the front cam like so. And let's, let's render this again. Let's render a better quality for this. All right, why that is so? I see this a bit properly. I think I'll give this a moment and I'll come back when this is done. We're looking at this now. I feel like I feel like. Uh, I feel like I should darken the eye a bit more in Sultan Splinter. Yeah, I think I'm going to darken the eye in Sultan Splinter. But it shouldn't be so much of an issue though. Darken the eye and then the whites 
part of the hair and probably make this make that a bit dull bit dull in nature let's see alternatively alternatively i think since we have since we let me stop minimize this so we have this in here called correct node in here let's see what happens when we let me just get this for the eye alone render region just for the alone okay so let's reduce the saturation for this let me try something around this point seven Let me reduce the contrast. Should probably just do one eye instead. No, I think it's better just do this somewhere else. Just to the I'm, I'm going to stop this coming here. I think I can quickly and easily do this in Photoshop instead of opening Substance Painter again. Okay. Zoom in here. Let me start by blowing out most of this. Most of these details. So I'm going to duplicate this. I would add convert to smart max. Add a blow Gaussian blow for this. Something like this should be fine. Then all you want this to be affecting is my brush. So I will just do a and I'll do this. Bring this all the way up. First of all, fill this with black. Then I'll go to the max. I'm still affecting just this in that part, like so. <clears throat> Something like this should be fine. And I'll create a new layer. Put this to black. Got the black marks in here. Something like so. Okay. I would add a black marks fill this part with black so let me undo that I'll send the black brush um yes yeah, soft, soft brush should be fine on the center parts just exclude that a bit more and something like this should be fine I guess increase the opacity a bit more Okay. Then for this, for this down here, let me use the use the for okay, you are saturation. Can't really see anything happening there though. Oh, let me drag it all the way up. Get some redness to this. Let's save this. Let's 
So I'll just name this to two. Put this to two. Save this. Uh, I think I need to duplicate this mark some more. Let me duplicate it. I guess something a bit darker. Mm, but if it's it still feels weird. Feels weird. I would need to go to the max again, create a new layer. Use a hard brush. Okay, something like this. Let's zoom in. Let's see what we have. Probably reduce the opacity some more, like so. Like so. Let's do a quick save. PNG to save. Okay. I think this should be fine. Then we can go back to. Go back in here. Set this to 1. Set the saturation to one also. Then plug in the new color map for this. So two open. Okay. Let's do a render for this again. Let's see what we have. Let's do a quick save. Get this out. Okay. Mm, it used to be more there. Let me turn this off. That's just way to black. Let me reduce. General scale for this. Okay. How do you convert this? How do you blow Gaussian blow filter to it? Where is it? Okay, here it is. Okay. Take it down some more, like so. Save this again. name this one three so just a back and forth thing and see we have something that looks good okay come back in here login the io3 open I don't want it to be extremely black. I still want to have some brownness with something like this. Should be. Yeah, this should be, should be fine. That will work just fine. So let's give it let's give it a bit of character by lifting it up some more. Lifting it up some more like so. So I would this render for now. Let's go into the app. I'm going to make it put this in a group. I 
now duplicate this group just to have a backup let's use this one instead so let's do center pivot on it let's see if we can rotate this upward some more I was grabbing everything, I don't need to grab everything, I just need to grab the outer eye and the inner eye. Like so, I guess. Let me see if I can texture this turn down. I'm sure that it don't turn down, but I can't really see the texture in there. Oh, well, that's because. Let me open up. So I put this into the base color. So let's move this from the surface color for now. The surface color. So I'm just plugging this to half color to base color for the inner eye color map for it. Maybe we should be able to see it in our render viewports. Uh, I don't think we need to see it in our render viewports. So it doesn't really matter that much. So let's just plug this back. Move this. Uh, we're just going to try to eyeball eyeball it. Okay, let's try. Let's see what we have. Turn this off. That's, that's way too much. I pushed it way too much. Here, yeah. let's get down a bit more. Okay. Somewhere around the same to do the trick. Okay. Yeah, this this should be fine. It should be fine. So I have quite a lot of roughness. Quite a lot of redness right now. So I think I may need to go back to. I need to go back to Photoshop and reduce the hue for this. Something like so. Save this up again. Save this on three. Okay, Let's go back in here. Select the color load three. Allow these updates. I think I'll need to select this to I again. Sit it down a bit more. This is, something else. this is a good spot. Okay. All right. Now, just for the sake of trying different setup in here, 
I'll stop this render. Let's try a different AGRI for this. Let's try a different AGRI for this. So I would. Um, let's see. I will hide this for now. Let me hide all of all of this and just bring in a new AGRI to our scene. Name this to a new dom. A new dom light should be fine. Then I will go in there, change the use a different AGRI. I'm still going to use another one from Supplants Painter. It should be on the exterior, so this Mandarin in EXR. Open this up. Okay. Select it again. Put the samples to three. Okay. <clears throat> Probably increase the exposure to three also. Or you add the intensity to three. You now to see how it looks like. Let me see where the light source is coming from. So I want the light source to be in this direction. Going from this direction, like so. So, light is, light is around this area, so it's beating the face around here. So, let me take this again a bit more. And let's go back to the go back to our camera view. And let's run a new oh, blown out, completely blown out. Put this back to one. Okay. So I don't expect any backdrop. So, but I will need to turn on the previous SAGI right in there. Turn that back on. Okay. Uh, should I even duplicate it? Let's see if duplicating it will not make it begin to act weird. Let me do it. Now duplicate it. I'll hide this. For this, I would. Let's go lighting. Let's go to Windows, Relationship, Light Linking. I don't, want, I don't want this new AGI right affecting the backdrop, so I'll turn it off from the backdrop. So it's not affect, affecting the backdrop anymore. Yeah, I figured. See, it's weird now. This new AGI right does duplicate it. It's supposed to affect the backdrop. But anyways, I don't want this new AGI affecting the head. So I'll turn it from affecting the head. I want to be affecting the backdrop for some reason, otherwise, it's not affecting the back. Let's, let's go in there. Let me fetch this out like so. I'll stop this render for now. I want to be affecting, yes, it's supposed to be affecting the backdrop. I don't see, I don't see affect the hair, so I'm gonna just turn this off. Uh, should not be affecting the backdrop, should be affecting only the backdrop. But it doesn't seem to be affecting. So let me just see if I can crank this up. Let's see if I crank this up to 10 for now. Let's see. Let's do another render. See what we have. See, this is the weirdness about. The annoying weirdness I'm talking about when we duplicate. See, weird things, weird things begin to happen. The weird things begin to happen. 
it's supposed to be eliminating the backdrop let's let's stop this let's close this entirely let's open it again let's see if that will fix it Nah, still not still not fixing it. Still not fixing it. But that's fine. Let's stop this. I'll delete it. Let's just create a new one. Put this at three. Then we'll just bring in the it should be this thing 03, so I'll open this up. Back. So this new one, I don't see affect the edge and the edge. I want it to be affecting the backdrop. Okay, so yes, let's see. Let's render this out. Let's see what we have. Still not affecting it. Let me hide. Let me turn on the head for this. Okay. Put this to 10. Exactly affecting the backdrop. Okay. okay. Let's exclude it. Let's exclude from affecting the head. So let's exclude this from affecting the head. We really want this to affect the backdrop. Then let's turn on this new HDR I created. Okay, now I'm going something. Yes, it's going better now. Okay. Let's read this green light. Let's see what we have in the black green icon. Okay. This is just, just trying different light sector, kind of figure out which one works. This one works best. Like how this one gives kind of dark shadowing, dark shadowing around the eye. Like that's giving some dark shadowing around the eye. Okay, I think this we can keep. Let me just give this a moment to render out then. Um, I feel like I should add more redness to my skin, not too sure though. Not sure if my skin is more redness. This is already looking good enough. I believe it's already looking good enough. Okay, let me do a quick save. I'll put this thing for the bomb lights. I would like to reduce the intensity some more. Maybe this maybe six instead. Yeah, something too much like this. Okay, so this is this will be it for this tutorial. The next lesson we're just going to work on. We're going to work on on the other accessories for this piece. Work on the other accessories for this piece. Then move on to the hairs, and then we'll call it done. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.